Oh, we got to play this. Yeah, Jim. Folks, we've heard many, many times that the left doesn't have a sense of humor, that Democrats don't have a sense of humor. Um, but I would suggest to you that the real political humor is happening uh, on the right. And um, you got to give kudos to Jim Brewer. It's amazing. I would imagine they're going to bring him on to Saturday Night Live to do this uh, Kamala Harris impression because it is so spot on. Um, here is uh, Jim Brewer at the North Carolina Reawaken America tour. Incidentally, this is, um, this is the Michael Flynn organization. So um, impressive? I don't know. Let's uh, take a look at this. So the Fox guy goes, um, 70% of America uh, says we're heading in the wrong direction. And uh, what do you have to say to those 70% of, of Americans? <laughs> and Donald Trump's been running. <laughs> Her hand was coming audience. out. <laughs> you don't think China was watching that going, oh my gosh, she's so funny! She answered no question, so funny! And people still follow her! <laughs> oh, gosh. Amazing. First off, can we go back and here, uh, I'll, I'll cue this up too after uh, I just sent you an IM. But let's go back and just watch uh, right before they cut to the audience. It's amazing. It's hard to know what's funnier about this. The um, him doing Kamala Harris as a donkey, I guess. I'm not quite sure what it, what it is he's doing there. Or um, his doing a an impersonation of the Chinese as if this was like 1925. Yeah, breakfast at Tiffany's style. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, no sound. Look at, look at all those old people laughing. Oh, pause it. Right, go, go back just a little bit. What is the average age? Um, the average age of people in that audience are, with all due respect to uh, old people like myself, uh, right there. Do, do you see anybody even remotely close to like being un, being not retired? No, I think categorically no. I don't think I think everybody is, is at least really preparing for it <laughs> uh, or anxious about it if they aren't already retired. And this is the funniest thing they've ever ever seen. Play this other uh, clip. Yeah, somebody just said uh, Brewer's just recycling Goat Boy from like 1995. I don't think he's done any other material other than like his punchlines are always this. And I should say, understand, he was a week or it wasn't even that funny when Jim Carrey did it. Uh, all right, pop this in. They left me here. I'm all alone and I can't get out. I can't believe this is happening. Like, how can you not know your coach? How can you not know some other teammates and have contacts? Uh, like, we what are you just showing up behind like a shopping mall where the Mexicans play soccer? <laughs> You know that one field in your town where you're like, oh, that's where the Mexicans play soccer. And they're, like, and they're into it. They're fantastic. Uh, there we go. There we go. That percussive yeah. sound. Just literally took a random, uh, a random, uh, just a clip, and it's basically the same thing, just a different uh, ethnicity that he's um, uh, doing as if it's like 1925.
It's almost like he's been rewarded for that and found the people who will just, yeah, here's 25 bucks. Do the uh, racist uh, impressions for me, sir. Um, Should I go call in? Uh, yeah, go call in. We'll take one or two uh, phone calls. In the meantime, I'll read some I am jokes on you, Sam. You never retire if you're perpetually unemployed, says Ledro James. Um, Jody from Chicago, Jim Brewer's comedy always consists of him filleting the microphone. Why too <laughs> grim, way too grim, Ryan. Uh, Sam, that Jim Brewer audience was a local young Republican organization. Ramona Frankenstein, I've been thinking about trying out stand up comedy, but it seems to have peaked now. So, what's the point? Amazing. Mailman Paul, I encourage every letter carrier to read the tenet of agreement and decide for themselves. But as for me, I'm voting no. Skid Mark Wayne. There you go. Um, someone, uh, some people told me, I've never seen it, but somebody told me that Arnold Palmer, one of the greatest golfers of our time, maybe the best ever, that Arnold Palmer had a huge member, and I love women. <laughs> yeah, I need to pull that as a drop. The uh, All due respect, and I love women, but he had a big... Seth the Lit PhD. Sam, speaking of Warsaw Ghetto, have you heard about Ben Shapiro's musical about it with Zachary Levy attached, I think? No, I that that has to be a joke. Um regular shoe Mike, the absolute funniest take on Arnold Palmer's stuff was from Zach Bornstein. Uh, it wasn't just the size that was wild. One of his balls was full of lemonade, the other iced tea. Yes, that was I've seen that. Uh, we will take uh, phone calls. We'll probably only have time for one or two, but, um, you can call in 646-257-3920, 646-257-3920. Rootin tootin highfalutin. Sam, I would love you to see you and Obama get into a competition on who can insert the most ums into a sentence. Love the show. Keep up the good work. Rogerson. Wasn't he known for Goat Boy? Hey, remember the 80s? Andrew from Vermont. How is it possible that Trump and Vance and others can continue to spread lies that cause threats of violence towards towns, FEMA workers, election workers, and immigrants without any repercussions? What's amazing to me is like, where's Merrick Garland on this uh, Elon Musk stuff? Seriously? I mean, he's a microcosm between all of the pollution that his rocket stuff causes between just using, and this is not just Tesla, but using our public roads as testing grounds for self-driving tech. 100%. Like it's, we, we're not even a country anymore with some of this stuff. Hey folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 PM Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.